Hi there. Do you find yourself often worrying? It's really common and it's something that my clients bring to me quite a lot. This sort of habit of worrying that no sooner do you get over worrying about one thing than you start worrying about something else. So you're very often in a state of worry, anxiety and stress and you just love to calm down and not be having those thoughts and concerns going through your mind all the time. When we worry a lot, it's something that I call OCW, a bit like OCD. You know, with OCD, what people do is they use a behavior to kind of check and reassure themselves that perhaps they want to feel more in control of the situation or less out of control of the situation. So they might do something like wash their hands or check something is switched off, for example. With OCW, as I call it, it, it's obsessive compulsive worrying. So what we do is we use the worry instead of the action. So we worry. So if I worry, then I can sort of make everything all right. If I worry about this thing, it means that I can fend it off. If I worry about this thing happening, it means that if it does happen, well, I'll be prepared. So it won't be quite as big and scary as I expected it to, you know, as it could have been because I expected, I expected it. So, you know, therefore, you know, I was prepared. It doesn't work. And I'm sure you'll know that it doesn't work because you're still worrying. So why is it that we get into this OCW, this obsessive compulsive sort of need to worry, to try and sort of make sure that we're more in control of life? Well, I found working with clients and in my own life that there are three reasons that we do this. And the first reason is because it's a pattern that we've learnt from others, often in our childhood, you may have had a parent or a caregiver, somebody important in your life who was an obsessive compulsive worrier. And you observed them and often maybe heard them saying, talking about the things that they were worried about and you watched their behavior. And so it's become natural for you to think that that's how life has to be. It doesn't. The other thing, the second thing is that Sometimes we have grown up with just a belief that we, we just don't get to be happy. We don't get to have things working out. We don't get for things to be okay. And so because we have that belief, we continually worry about things not working out because that's what we expect. We expect that that, you know, that, that goal that we've set isn't going to happen. It can't happen. So we have to keep worrying about it and thinking of what, what could go wrong? How could I fix that? It could be a relationship. Oh, well, you know, I've never had a happy relationship, so I'm worried this one won't work either. It could be any number of things, but it's a sort of a, a belief system that, that, that says, I don't deserve, I don't deserve to be happy. Things don't work out for me. It's not true. And then the third one is that you may have had traumas in the past they could be big traumas big things events that have happened in your life or even a number of smaller traumas that have happened in your life and because of those traumas you've come to believe that actually things can't work out for you you can't be happy things will go wrong if you if you prepared for them that you know it went wrong before if you think that it could go wrong again you'll be prepared for them and you come back to this expectation thing. So those are three reasons that we get into this, this habit of worrying this, you know, either from observing other people or from having this belief that we can't be happy, don't deserve to be happy, or because things have happened that have made us not happy. And now we have this expectation that that's going to carry on. The common theme between those three things is beliefs. It's what we believe. When we can change those beliefs, we can let go of that pattern of always worrying about things because we believe that things are gonna go wrong, things can't go right, we can't be happy.
The trick then is to really understand the beliefs that are going on for you behind that need to worry, behind that idea that if you worry about something, you can fend it off because you believe it can't go right or you believe it will go wrong. And break those beliefs down and really explore those because once you are able to let go of those beliefs, there won't be any reason to worry anymore, will there? I'm actually going to put a link under this with a list of core beliefs. It's a kind of checklist that you can go through and you can think about, is that belief? Do I believe that? Yes, no, yes, no. And you can go through that list. And it's surprising what comes up when you go through that list. And you begin to think, is that belief really true? And maybe it was true in the past, but it doesn't need to be the case now. You can let it go. I hope this video will help you if you are like so many people with this habit of worrying. We all go there sometimes, but if it's a problem and it's a persistent in your life, I, I really hope that this will be of help to you. If you like the video, do please hit the thumbs up like button because by doing that, more people will see the video and you'll be able to help me to help other people who are worrying all the time. Uh, do hit subscribe and I'd love to hear your comments as well. Please do leave a comment. Let me know your experiences of worrying and I'll say goodbye for now and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.